Welcome. Today we're going to set up a three node Galera cluster using Galera Manager. You can find out more about Galera Manager at the website. And of course, we should log on to the AWS console. And now that we are here, the first thing we will do is set up an EC2 instance. So I will click the Launch Instance button. I'm going to call it GMD for Gallery Manager Daemon. I'm going to use AW Amazon Linux. And make entirely sure you're using a 64-bit architecture and not the ARM, the x86 version. We're going to use a fairly small instance. I'm going to pick a T2 small or a T2 medium, but I think for this demo, T2 small should be sufficient. And I believe I have access to this key, but always worth checking. And that should just about do it. I will click Launch Instance. And head over to the instances. One should also note that you need to download Gallery Manager by entering your email address. And then clicking the Submit button. Now that you have a running instance, and if we click this little instance ID, you will notice that I have an IP address already assigned to me. So why don't we log on to said IP? Become the root user. Let's pull down Gallery Manager. And if we run it here, you will notice that we can actually check the version. So we're currently using the latest, which is 1.91. And then we can just actually ask for it to install it. I'm going to accept the license agreement, leave the repository URL the same, the admin your, uh, login is the same, and enter an admin password. Then it's going to ask for uh, the IP address, and it is now going to make said installation. So this will enable us to get um, our first um, cluster uh, set up, but we are going to do it via the Galera Manager way. So while this installs, it is worth noting that if we go down to um, evaluate Galera Manager here, you can of course read our excellent documentation. It is uh, quite extensive. And in fact, we tell you exactly here of how you can also download the installer, how you can make installations. And of course we have plenty of blog posts available. Even though this says 2021, you will notice that right up to even now, December, just a couple of days ago, you'll see that we have this here. So highly recommend you uh, give it a go. And if you have any problems, you can always go to our support where you can file issues in GitHub and uh, we will attempt to answer them So we are at this stage having a bit of an installation and it is worth noting that you do have to open up security groups. So if we go here, you will actually see uh, we need to edit the inbound rules. Naturally, we would have to have HTTP. 
if you basically uh, put a domain, it would actually allow you to also have HTTPS. And another one that we need to open up is 8081. As you can see here, ensure TCP ports 80 and 8081 are open within the firewall. So I'm going to hit the Save Rules button. And now when I hop onto the EC2 dashboard and take a look at the running instances, I should see one instance, which is the one we're going to connect to. Then we're going to log in and we're given the Galera Manager um, landing page. So I, you have the choice of deploying a fully managed cluster, cluster on a user provided host or monitor an existing cluster. Naturally, in this case, we're going to go for deploying a fully managed cluster. Uh, you can, of course, deploy this. Um, so I'm going to take my SQL 8 and we're going to use um, CentOS 7. I'm not going to add any SSH keys because we have a new feature that allows you to also log in via the web browser. And you're given the option of AWS EC2 or DigitalOcean where it just changes to the access token. So we're going to use AWS EC2 in this particular example. I want a fairly small maximum database size. And we're going to go pull up the access keys from Amazon's security credentials. And you can actually just hit the create access key here. So we've got an access key here. And there will be a bit of a secret key. Which, if I paste it right here, it will attempt to make the connection. Ooh, and it says it actually was not able to, to process. So we clearly have, uh, we have a problem. And now we are good to go. So make sure you've copied and pasted it uh, well. And uh, of course, don't, don't share your secret keys with anybody. Uh, by the time this uh, goes up on the internet, of course, this particular one will be uh, deactivated and deleted. And then we're gonna pick an AWS region. So we have obviously got plenty of regions. Here we've got, we're using Frankfurt, EU Central one. We can use any one really, but I'm choosing to keep it in uh, Central. And I wanna take a small instance like uh, T2 Medium. And I'm gonna hit the Create button. And we're going to add three nodes or three node Galera cluster. And by and large, if I hit the deploy button, it'll actually tell you the deployment has started. And we are able to actually take a look as to what's going on during this time. As you can tell, not very much during the initial installation. Many will actually be a bit concerned when they see a connection refused, but it actually does tell you it's going to retry. And this is largely because Amazon itself is actually creating these instances and it doesn't happen very quickly. As you can see, there are three instances here being created and they are in the initializing phase, as mentioned. If you recollect, there was only one instance earlier. And uh, Galera Manager, of course, attempts to retry as many times uh, as, as possible before it uh, actually will give up. But in this case, um, as I said, the instances are being initialized, so it will take a little bit of time. And in the same vein, you can also log on to uh, DigitalOcean uh, this way, because DigitalOcean also has uh, access keys available for you, an API access key. 
So in this particular instance, we're noticing EC2 is taking uh, quite some time to initialize uh, our instances. And finally, we have one instance initialized. So it's actually doing some updates. And the other two are still getting there. It's still in the sleep state. But um, we should be able to get started fairly soon. <clears throat> All right, we, you know, I've got some instances up and running. <clears throat> and you're starting to see that uh, after the Galera manager itself is deployed, you're starting to set these firewalls necessarily. And status is always updating. It does take some time to get this going. MySQL itself is not the, the smallest of software out there, but um, well worth your effort in um, waiting. But that generally speaking, you should be able to get a cluster up and running in possibly under 15 minutes. And uh, of course, naturally, I'd like to show you new features. So you can see here on the GUI side, it's version 1.73. And it is true that while the installations are happening, you cannot actually do anything interactively within Galera Manager. You, it, is a, it is a blocking operation, so to speak. And uh, you're starting to see that the node installation is actually complete. And we're starting to see cluster-wide um, Read locks and Galera Manager. And we actually have our first node already basically set up. And we're almost at the finish line. So you realize how quick this entire process actually was. And again, when you see things like WSREP not prepared for use, it's because MySQLD is getting ready to start. All this is getting done. We are now at a finish stage, so I can click Finish. And here I've got lovely amounts of information as to what I can do. I can see the CPU, which is from the system. I can see what's being replicated, what's been received. And naturally, I can also add charts. Plenty of metrics are available. So you can add as, add and remove charts as, as and when you please. But I think the coolest thing is, if I click here and go to the SSH terminal, I've actually started an SSH terminal. So as you can see, select version, we're on 8030. And, uh, We have, uh, of course, got three nodes. In fact, you know, if I decide to stop this node, this should now reflect that I only have two nodes. And of course, you can look at the configuration, the jobs, the logs, etc. I can also, of course, um, choose to start the node. And not long after, you should be able to see that this is going to be th three nodes as this node gets restarted. Voila. So we are back to a three node cluster. And we have many, many options. We can also delete nodes, force delete nodes. And in the event that all three nodes are gone, we can even recover the cluster by running the bootstrap node uh, automatically for you. So as I said, very fine grained um, with options available for you. So this is a Galera manager creating a three node um, instance. 
just to make doubly sure, let's you know connect to another another instance. So this is uh, another instance, of course. So you can see that they've got both different IP addresses. Show databases. Create database demo. Show databases. So you know replication is working just fine. You should be able to have seen that here. We can even zoom in into that. Zoom back out. So this is your three node gallery manager created uh, fairly quickly for you via Amazon uh, uh, API by creating three instances automatically. And of course I was running on one. Thank you for watching.